In the realm of economic policymaking and public discourse, the trifecta of clarity, consistency, and accountability reigns supreme. The U.S. government can't go bankrupt because we can print our own money. It obviously begs the question, why exactly are we borrowing in a currency that we print ourselves? I'm waiting for someone to stand up and say, why do we borrow our own currency in the first place? Like you said, they print the dollar. So why, why does the government even borrow? So, the, I mean, again, some of this stuff gets some of the language that the MM, some of the language and concepts are just confusing. I mean, the government definitely prints money. And it definitely lends that money, which is why uh, the government definitely prints money. And then it lends that money by, uh, by selling bonds. Uh, is that what they do? They, they, um, they yeah, they, they, um, they sell bonds. Yeah, they sell bonds, right? Because they sell bonds and people buy the bonds and lend them the money. Yeah. So a lot of times, a lot of times, at least to my ear with, with MMT, the, the language and the concepts can be kind of unnecessarily confusing, but there is no question that the government prints money and then it uses that money to, um, uh, 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 so, um, yeah, I, I guess I'm just, I don't, I can't really talk. I don't, I don't get it. I don't know what they're talking about. Like, cause it's like the government clearly prints money. It does it all the time and it clearly borrows. Otherwise we wouldn't be having this debt and deficit conversation. So I don't think there's anything confusing there. For the public to place trust and faith in economic policies, governmental messages must exhibit transparency and unwavering consistency. However, this task is not without its challenges, particularly in conveying the intricacies of modern monetary theory to a lay audience. Criticism is directed towards Jared Bernstein's attempts to elucidate fundamental economic concepts and their potential impact on public awareness regarding the administration's economic agenda. Emphasizing financial prudence, minimal government interference, and the primacy of free market principles is imperative. Of concern is the perplexing and inconsistent nature of Jared Bernstein's explanations of U.S. monetary policy. As a pivotal economic advisor to Joe Biden, his struggles in clarifying basic economic tenets suggest broader issues with the administration's economic strategies and messaging, despite advocating for transparent governance. The cognitive and communicative hurdles faced by Jared Bernstein in explicating modern monetary theory and U.S. monetary policy underscore the multifaceted challenges inherent in conveying complex ideas, delving into cognitive biases, linguistic obstacles, and contextual nuances is essential to understanding individual comprehension and communication patterns. Maintaining a clear and cohesive narrative is paramount in mitigating the repercussions of economic uncertainty and bewilderment on public sentiment and behavior towards economic policy endeavors.